101 WIXX, it's Jeff Leppard hanging out with Katie from The Morning Show and one of the most popular guys in Green Bay tonight. One of the new kids on the block, Jordan Knight. How are you doing, man? I'm good. How are you? Doing great. You look pretty comfy chilling on the couch right now. Ah, oh, man. In the, the lighting in here is beautiful. It makes me feel like they, they expect a lot out of us. And <laughs> it's not going to happen. So. so obviously, the new kids on the block, you guys were tremendously successful in the 80s, into the 90s. You took some time off. Are you finding that it's kind of like riding a bike? Um... I think Donnie in one interview said, yeah, like a mountain bike. It is, actually, it is like riding a bike. Uh, we all are definitely a little older. Um, we we tend to pace ourselves a little better. But, yeah, it's it's like it doesn't feel like we're reunited anymore. It feels like we're, we're the new kids on the block. We're not, you know, this isn't some nostalgic reunion tour. It's like we're we're out here for real. Definitely. And I think one thing that people forgot about, I know I did, was that you guys were literally new kids when you started the group. Joey signed on before he was 12. That's crazy. Um, I don't know how old he might have been, 11 or 12 or, or 13. I'm not sure. But he was around there, definitely. Very, very young. I mean, I was 14. I was 14. So, yeah, he might have had to have been 11 or 12. So what was that like? You were a regular 14-year-old. The next day you're a pop superstar? <laughs> um, well... It did happen somewhat gradually. I mean, we, we became, we worked hard, and then we became kind of celebrities in Boston, and then we, be, we became real celebrities in Boston, and then we became celebrities in, in the U.S. and then worldwide. So it kind of, maybe like in the last, for me, the last year of high school, it kind of blasted off, and um, it was fun. It was what we all were looking forward to, and we all, you know, had a lot of faith that um, our dreams would come true, and, and, and they did. Do you still have that classic red and black leather jacket? Which one? I probably had a few. <laughs> um, no, uh, my mother has a lot of memorabilia, though. She has stashed somewhere. I don't, I don't hold on to things like that. Okay, so the fans were crazy when we were younger. That was totally my generation. Have we matured with you at all, or are we still a psycho and going after you? Because we've all seen behind the story, or the E! True Hollywood story, where they were in hot tubs and they were with bodyguards and everything like that just to get a hold of you guys has that gotten a little bit better well it might have been exaggerated it wasn't i mean not every fan comes to the show and acts totally ridiculous but um we love our fans for the for the excitement that they that they bring and um you know we we feel really validated when uh you know 15 20 years later we come back and and in the place is rocking just like the the old days i mean Everyone is a little older. Everyone's more mature. But, you know, I say uh, feelings don't die. And, and we all kind of rev revert back to our childhood. Uh, we do it when we get on stage. The fans do it when we get on stage um, and when they come to the show. It's kind of like a free pass to let your hair down and forget about life and, and have fun. So what's the song that everyone just goes crazy about? There's certain moments. Uh, let's see. They go crazy. Uh, co cover girl's one of them. Her, her, her ringtone just went off, and it was cover girl. Oh, that's embarrassing. They, they, they love cover girl, definitely. Uh, totally not the right stuff. They, uh, the fans love that one when we break into that. Please don't go, girl. Mm -hmm. What else? I'll be loving you forever. Uh, all you know, all the hits and then some. I mean, uh, Dirty Dancing is a song on our on our album, our latest album that they love. You know, we're blessed to have a lot of good music, you know, and um, fans that l love to listen to it. So, How many times did you guys kick around getting back together before you actually did this past year? It's always been, uh, for me, it's, it was in the last three years. I didn't think about doing it before that, but I never said never. What got me into it was a, a lot of people asking more and more, you think you guys will ever reunite? I think it was just time. It it. It kind of told me that, you know, it's kind of wanted out there, you know, the the new kid's style of entertainment. So that's what got me into it. Yeah. I think one of the cool things about you guys is there's probably like two generations of fans, right? I mean, your originals are all growing up. They've got kids now. Do you see a lot of families coming out to the shows? Um, You know, mostly 90% or 80% or whatever of the of the fans out there in the crowd are old fans 
and uh, they do bring a lot of you know their daughters their nieces we see a lot of husbands out there which is pretty cool and uh, younger sisters and whatnot so yeah they're passing it passing it on and uh, you know we definitely we're thankful for that and then to wrap it up are you guys together for a while or is this kind of it and then we have to wait another 20 years before you come back well you won't have to wait 20 years that's for sure I think if we do take a break it will maybe be a year or two um, but you know we'll see how it goes uh, we're doing well and and people people are you know buying tickets and coming to see us and as long as long as people will st still want to come see us we'll still entertain that's for sure well thank you so much for taking the time today uh, no lies when we heard that the new kids on the block were getting back together and that they were coming to Green Bay the phones haven't stopped with people calling and saying how can we get tickets so you're definitely welcome to come back anytime it's a pleasure to have you guys here today okay.